Well, thank you for inviting me to Geneva. It's great to be here. Uh, one of the things that's great about the space program is it provides a, an avenue for international cooperation. And of course, Geneva is the center of many international organizations. So our space program really brings together different nations. So I've come here to talk to people about that international aspect of the program. As you know, CERN is close by another great example of international cooperation. That the first person to walk on Mars is already alive today. And it would be so special to go up to that mother and father and say, you know, your daughter or your son who's out there playing in the yard is going to be the first person to walk on Mars. I think that person already exists. Well, Isaac Newton says that if I touch this wall in space with my finger, I will fly across the room with no effort until I come to this wall and I can touch this wall with one finger. And I can go back and forth in space using just this finger. So I'll come back from six months in September and I have this really strong finger, but of course the rest of my body would have atrophied, right? An astronaut has a lot to offer the, the students, to inspire the students, to think about science as a career, uh, to think about the future of uh, science exploration, uh, I think to just inspire students to achieve their goal. As a child, I always wanted to fly in space. I was born in the late 1950s, so I watched the Apollo missions on television in the 60s. So I eventually became an astronaut. I tried many times, and so now I've had the chance to fly on the space shuttle four times and to do several spacewalks, including those on the Hubble Space Telescope and the International Space Station. So it's been a great ride. I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoy sharing the story. So people ask us, will we step on Mars? Absolutely. Absolutely. The question is, is it 10 years from now or 20 years from now? And here's the last thing to ponder. It's probably likely, in most of our opinions in the space industry, that the first person to walk on Mars is alive today. It's a little kid somewhere, okay? So if you'd gone up to Mrs. Armstrong in Ohio in the 1930s and said, that little boy is gonna walk on the moon, she thought you'd be crazy. Um, the future is currently under debate within our uh, government in the United States, but clearly it'll be an international effort to go somewhere. I think anywhere we go in the future will require a multinational effort. Some people think we should go to the moon first. Some people think we should go to Mars first. Some think people think we should go to both. But uh, the United States will develop a new system to follow up the space shuttle. And we're already working with our international partners to determine what they can also contribute in terms of expertise. So we will go somewhere together. And it's going to promote world cooperation, which is really one of the highlights of the space program.